Well, welcome back to my channel. There's been a legal challenge uh, in the New South Wales Supreme Court over mandatory vaccinations for frontline workers. So let's have a look at this today. The legal challenge launched against Dr. Ch uh, Kerry Chant, Brad Hazard, over mandatory COVID jabs for frontline workers and lawyers claim requirement strip citizens of their basic human rights. So Sydney solicitor Tony Nikolai, uh, Nikolik, uh, sorry, I totally messed up that name, has filed a lawsuit in the New South Wales Supreme Court challenging New South Wales health officials' compulsory vaccination for frontline workers. Law firm Ashley, Francina, Leonard and Associates argue the orders are illegal, as well as the extra powers granted to New South Wales police to enforce the health orders. So there is a requirement that has been made to say that New South Wales frontline workers have to be vaccinated. So it was heard for the first time today. So he filed it on Wednesday and it was heard for the first time today. It has been adjourned. I actually managed to catch some of that. Okay, the public health orders require a broad class, class of workers to be vaccinated is illegal and unconstitutional, as are the extra powers granted to police to enforce the orders. So they've received thousands of inquiries from frontline workers, police, paramedics, nurses, aged care staff, doctors, firefighters, constructors, workers, teachers, airline staff, miners, truck drivers, university students, mums and dads, and importantly, employers. It is our view that vac vaccine compulsion strips citizens of their basic human rights, including their right to work, their right to bodily integrity, and their right to informed consent to medical treatment without coercion. The suit will seek a declaration that the New South Wales public health orders are invalid and a ban on any further orders made by Hazard and Chant. No one is above the law, including ministers and public health officers. A response has been sought from Dr. Chant and Mr. Hazard. Um, they advertise for plaintiffs to join the suit on the firm's website and social media uh, network <laughs> using a media telegram, a platform used to organise and incite anti-lockdown protests across the country. So that case has been adjourned. So, um, so he also prays politicians like Craig Kelly, Reverend Fred Nile and Pauline Hanson for their opposition to mandatory vaccinations and lockdown. You are born free, free to choose, freedom from arbitrary detention, freedom from bodily integrity, don't give it away for free, he said don't be bullied. Um, so that's what he said. So it went to court today. What, what has happened, there was five affidavits that um, the government hadn't seen, so the people representing the government hadn't seen. It's been adjourned. It's set down for a directions hearing on Wednesday because everybody needs time to do it. Also, they haven't given the specific, uh, not everybody has received their summons for court, not everyone's received their documentation. And I believe that they're looking at including the, the federal government into the claim as well. So it also will involve the State Attorney General and the Federal Attorney General. So the party that's uh, that's doing this action now has to has until Wednesday to have everything to, to have everything that needs to be served served, everything that needs to be done done, and and all of that. So that happened this morning. It's adjourned to 9am Wednesday. I will keep you updated with this matter. So thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate you all um, and thank you for watching.